The streets here are crazy, crazy busy in Lima, Peru. And uh, driving here is like playing Mario Kart, but you only get one life. It is insane. And this is, I don't even know the area in Lima that we're at, but those lights over there, that's for our stage. Jesus, when he was telling the story of the parable of the wedding banquet, he talked about the highways and the byways. He talked about, well, people just rejecting and saying, no, I don't want to go to the wedding banquet, which is really uh, symbolism for heaven. And uh, so he says, go out into the streets and the highways and byways, basically invite the whosoevers the non-elite, if you will. And that's what we're trying to do here in Peru, is go to the highways and the byways. Meet the people where they're at. Reach them where they're at. We're here in our first concert. We're at Festival Gritos de Esperanza. And we have three opening bands before we go up. We are They're super enjoying it and singing along. It was a blast. Most importantly, the gospel was preached. Well, there wasn't a huge, huge amount of people here for one week of promotion. And the thousand dollars is how much we spent to get this stage set up. I think it was a huge success. The gospel was preached in the highways and the byways, the center of Lima. Thank you so much for sending us. It won't just transform how you live here, but it will transform how you live and where you live in eternity. Blazing a trail. Great Safari is now in the Amazonian region. Pucallpa, Peru is very different than Lima. This place is very green. We're so excited, this is the very first time gospel reggae has been brought here, and it's definitely the very first time that the gospel has been brought in such a unique way to this region. We have no idea what to expect. What do you think? I think it's gonna be awesome, but you'll find out too. We had an incredible greeting by the staff of the festival, and uh, they were screaming and yelling, this is Ruth over here. Hello. She's been uh, the, the, the host with the hostess with the mostest who's been helping coordinate the, this craziness. Yeah, he has been the crazy. It's happening. We made it. Now we're going on stage today. In Pucallpa, got a little bit of rest and the winds have subsided. It's still chilly, but praise the Lord. Looks like they've organized everything with the stage and it is ready to go later than planned but we are so excited but check this out check out what the stage looked like just a few hours ago insane so we just pulled up at the festival and this is one of those collaborative festivals that we absolutely love to do we've done a handful of them all over the world with some of these same evangelists we have VMX guys coming out, different pastors coming out and preaching, and then we're the final band, and the only stipulation we ask is that, can we preach as well? And uh, they, they say, yes, of course, we want to see as many saved as possible. And one of the cool things is this week, we've also been partnering with doctors and nurses. A thousand people have had medical care for free here because of this outreach event. So we're just so grateful. And they've, they've said that oh, around a thousand people have already received Jesus even before the stage was set up. So let's check out the venue. I'm really excited. Here we have 
Gigi doing his thing. Quick battery change. Nice. Good job. Batteries. <laughs> and here's Rachel. Here's Avion. And there's Times. Look at him go. Colombia, we're coming! God's kingdom, are you in or are you out?